everybody. Hey, yeah. Uh, oh, jeez, Boomer. Will you please let Boomer come sit on you? Here. Here. Come here, buddy. This way. Buddy. Come buddy, come on. There you go. <laughs> This, uh, that one's boom, boom. trying to get on you. This one just keeps wanting me pushing my hand up so I better. Pet me. Um, Pet me. I have a question for you. Uh-oh. I'm watching Friends. Yes. Joey and Chandler have a chuck. A chuck. They have a chuck? They have a duck and a chick. Yes. Why can't I? Because you're not Chandler and Joey. Well, what are you going to do tomorrow when they arrive? Because well, I thought they were supposed to be here last Thursday. No, she ordered them no, what? last Thursday. Well, they're you, getting here tomorrow. You have to do whatever it is you have to do. I will have nothing to do with them. I cannot drive to the feed store. I just don't care. I don't want ducks or chickens. You're not going to let them starve. Well, I know we'll you. let them graze in the backyard. I'll just throw them out there. No, you got to get food no. for them. Yes. No. No. Oh. Yes. No. Well, you can drive me to the feed store and I'll go in and buy it and I'll have one of those nice strapping young strong men bring it out and put it in the truck no well they're coming tomorrow so you're just gonna have to figure out a way to deal anyway um put them in the backyard and see what the bear has to say the bear's gone oh how about the porcupine and the, sh and the skunk Skunk may spray them. Mm hmm. Porcupine will bother them. I don't Are think. you sure? I don't think is what I said. <sighs> He's looking at himself in the mirror. Alright, oh. so I have so much to do, and so much of it is to do with my truck. I want to get started on it. Uh, I was going to get some help from someone at the apartments, but. Um, I, need, I don't want to wait anymore. I need to do this myself. But basically what I'm going to do today is replace the rotors on my uh, brake system. I got brakes and rotors that I ordered right here. So it's not the best place to jack up a truck because we were at a bit of an angle. I borrowed a, a three ton um, floor jack from the neighbor. and. Uh, uh, hopefully that'll make quick work of this. started and realized that I uh, didn't have um, some tools, missing some tools. Since I am not a mechanic, I didn't know what I needed until I got into it. So basically the uh, calipers are uh, held on by T-bolts and I don't have a big enough T-set. I have, uh, you know, the little star bits. Uh, I don't have, I mine go up to like T30, and this needs like a T55. Only you people who work on cars probably know what I'm talking about. So, I need to go run and buy some. I'm hoping that uh, they have some at Walmart. Hey guys. Hey. Bless this home. Bless this mess. Yeah, I do have a mess, but you know why I have a mess? Do you what? want to guess why? Am I, I supposed to? Yeah. Oh. 
why is this house a mess? I'm not talking about the house. I'm talking about my room. Okay. Why? This is a mess. Uh huh. Because I have censorship everywhere, and I'm too depressed to do anything right now. I'm trying. I am trying. Mm. I've been getting my samples together. Sarah's been making them, and I've been putting labels on them and bagging them and whatnot. And look what I got in the mail today, guys. I got congratulations for Lifetime PRV. And congratulations on Monthly Sales Award, which you get this when you hit $2,000. And I've gotten them for the last four months, three or four months in a row. So, I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Good. So, I gotta, I gotta get more of those little pad thingies so I can make more room for my awards. Uh huh. So, Sarah's I'm gonna make samples of these. I gotta label these. I missed one. <laughs> I missed one. You turned it off yourself, you did. Yeah, I did. The, the, the box did. It was uh -huh. Evil box, evil, evil, evil box. Um, I missed one label when I sent you all the labels to print. I saw that. So I need that one printed. Of course you do. It was your fault. You missed it. Anyway. <laughs> um, I slept. How long did I sleep today? I don't know. You're off and on, but pretty... A couple, maybe four hours, but off and on. No, I didn't sleep last night, so that was probably pretty good for me. I got a beautiful lily and a nice little uh, Maker's Mark whiskey bottle. Did I say that right? Maker's Mark? Mm-hmm. Whiskey bottle. Flower's going to be drunk. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I'm just trying to get by each day a little at a time. And I have to sneeze. Try to climb the mountain. Try to climb the mountain. So, update on my mom. Yes or no? Yeah, I'm sure everybody wants to hear it. Um, they were going to try and take her home today and keep her comfortable on pain meds until her passing because um, there's basically nothing else they can do her kidneys are in failure her liver is in failure she's got pneumonia um, she's got congestive heart failure her heart is very 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 weak her lungs are given out up she's on oxygen to help her breathe and everything and they can't ventilate her and all this stuff so anyway um they were going to try and take her home but i guess there's something about having so much oxygen in one home i remember something about that when my dad was sick and i was down there and my mom's on oxygen my dad had to be on oxygen and they had to calculate it out uh, but i totally didn't think of that last night. So when I talked to Korea this morning, they told her she, they can't let her go home because that she wouldn't have enough oxygen at home. So they um, are keeping her at the hospital. They haven't stopped everything yet. They're waiting for all the kids to come and see her and say their goodbyes, even though she's non-coherent. Um, they still want to go down and see her and say their goodbyes or up and see her or over and see her wherever they're at compared to she's at. Um, and then they'll start taking her off of everything except the pain meds. And uh, I 
guess that's that. Yeah. And there's no way you can go. Did we, did we discuss that this morning? I don't know. Um, I want to go so, so bad. I have such a headache. I've been up all night. I was on, on text messaging with Michelle at 1.30 this morning about it. And Michelle doesn't stay up that late. <laughs> um, Michelle? Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't stay up that late. But So I was text messaging Michelle. I was talking to Connie. I was talking to Erica. Megan? Uh, Megan. I, I said Connie. You did. My mother is laying there saying she wants to go to heaven and be with Connie. She's ready. And... Um, so I guess what I'm asking, well, first let me finish. I, I can't go because if I go, I'm going to be missing my last foot appointment, my gastro appointment, which I know I have to go to because they're going to schedule a colonoscopy to try and find out why I'm bleeding so bad. So that's all that. So I can't go. Plus, I'm worried with my poor health, I would be traveling alone. And I'm so afraid I'll get COVID. You know? Yes. And well, then, not just that. You may have to stay there right, for two weeks. Right. Right. And, and, you know, I don't want to be uh, quarantined there for two weeks and then have to come back here and quarantine for two weeks before I can reset any of my doctor's appointments. My health is in pretty bad shape. And the, the, these appointments, well, not so much my foot, but my gastro, um, my... Uh, psych and the surgeon for my face. I need to get those appointments in. So I can't keep putting things off. So I have to stay. I can't go as much as I want to. It's not safe for me to go. So anyway, but what I'm asking for now, I first of all, thank you all very, very much for the prayers for my mom. And I know this probably sounds horrible, but prayers aren't going to save her at this point because there's nothing they can do for her. So if everybody can just pray now for a for comfort and peace for her passing. That's what I would ask for at this point. So with that being said, do you have anything? Got nothing. Okay, I'm not going to let Angel howl. I'm just going to say hugs, kisses to you all. Hold on to your family tight, guys. Even when they're elderly and you know it's time for them to go and you can accept it, it's never easy. So hold on to your families. Give them hugs, give them kisses, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.